Every summer, the rumor mill churns with the same question, which star player will the Knicks trade for? Yet this offseason carries a different tune. Following a remarkable 50-win season achieved despite a roster plagued by injuries, the Knicks find themselves at a crossroads. The question isn't merely who they could acquire, but whether they need to acquire anyone at all. With a young, talented core that defied expectations, the Knicks might possess the internal firepower to contend for a championship. This newfound potential challenges the team's traditional off-season approach, forcing them to weigh the risks and rewards of disrupting a cohesive unit against the allure of a blockbuster trade. The Knicks have undergone a remarkable transformation, evolving from a franchise struggling to secure a meeting with Fred Van Vliet to a legitimate contender capable of vying for the championship without making any roster changes. This newfound status, a testament to shrewd drafting, savvy free agent signings, and the development of young talent, raises a pertinent question. Why would the Knicks even entertain the idea of trading away key players who have contributed to this ascent? The answer lies in the relentless pursuit of excellence. The Knicks' front office, led by President Leon Rose, is driven by an unwavering commitment to building a championship-caliber team. They understand that complacency is not an option in the hyper-competitive landscape of the NBA. While the current roster boasts immense potential, the Knicks are not content with merely being a contender. They aspire to be the front-runners, the team that sets the standard for success. By exploring trade options, the Knicks seek to optimize their roster construction. They aim to fortify their strengths, perhaps by adding a bona fide superstar or a reliable veteran presence. Simultaneously, they seek to address any perceived weaknesses, such as perimeter shooting or defensive versatility, to create a more well-rounded and formidable unit. This proactive approach reflects the organization's determination to leave no stone unturned in their quest for the ultimate prize. The pursuit of a championship demands a willingness to adapt and evolve, and for the Knicks, that means constantly evaluating all avenues for improvement, even if it involves parting ways with familiar faces. The list of NBA stars capable of catapulting the Knicks to championship contention is undeniably short, arguably confined to a mere two names, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Devin Booker. Giannis, the two-time MVP and perennial Defensive Player of the Year candidate, appears committed to navigating the tumultuous waters in Milwaukee for at least another season. However, should the Greek freak express a desire for greener pastures, the Knicks, armed with a treasure trove of assets and a proven track record of aggressive pursuit, would undoubtedly be at the forefront of the bidding war. Booker, the Suns' dynamic scorer and burgeoning leader represents another enticing target, although Phoenix's recent string of all-in moves suggest a trade is unlikely in the immediate future. The allure of these two superstars is undeniable, but the reality is that neither scenario seems likely to unfold within the next month. The Knicks find themselves in a waiting game, hoping for a seismic shift in either Milwaukee or Phoenix that opens the door to a blockbuster trade. Given the current landscape, the most prudent course of action for the Knicks may be to exercise patience, bypass any less impactful trade options, and reassess their pursuit of a star player next summer when the situation could be more favorable. However, the Knicks' path forward is riddled with financial complexities. Resigning key contributors like O.G. Anunobi and Isaiah Hartenstein, essential for maintaining the team's competitive edge, comes at a significant cost. Their combined salaries, along with those of Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, Mitchell Robinson, Josh Hart, and Dwech McBride, could easily push the Knicks' payroll beyond $155 million for just eight players. Factoring in potential draft picks and additional veteran signings, the team's financial obligations could balloon to a staggering $168 million. This is where Boyan Bogdanovich's contract becomes a critical piece of the puzzle. With a $19 million team option for the upcoming season, Bogdanovich's salary represents a significant chunk of the Knicks' financial flexibility.
The decision to guarantee his contract before the June 28th deadline has far-reaching implications, as it could push the team over the dreaded first salary cap apron. This would trigger financial restrictions, limiting the Knicks' ability to match salaries in potential trades and hindering their pursuit of another star player. The Knicks face a delicate balancing act, weighing the value of Bogdanovich's contributions against the financial limitations his contract imposes on their future roster construction. The recently implemented Collective Bargaining Agreement, CBA, has ushered in a new era of financial restraint for NBA teams, particularly those with aspirations of assembling star-studded rosters. For the Knicks, the consequences of exceeding the salary thresholds are significant. Should they surpass the first apron, their ability to match salaries in trades becomes severely restricted, limiting their options for acquiring top talent. Moreover, if they breach the second apron, their ability to structure complex deals involving multiple players will be completely eliminated, further complicating their pursuit of a championship-caliber roster. This new financial landscape has created a sense of urgency within the Knicks organization. The window of opportunity to make significant moves without incurring the hefty penalties imposed by the CBA is rapidly closing. The few weeks following the draft and the onset of free agency represent a critical juncture for the Knicks. They must carefully weigh their options, knowing that any decisions made during this period could have long-lasting ramifications. The luxury of unencumbered financial maneuverability is fleeting, and the Knicks must capitalize on this moment before the shackles of the new CBA tighten their grip on their roster-building capabilities. Julius Randle, the Knicks' multi-time All-Star forward, presents a pivotal decision point for the team's off-season strategy. Eligible for a contract extension this summer, Randle could command a lucrative four-year, $181.5 million deal, securing his place in New York for the foreseeable future. However, committing such a substantial amount to a single player could hinder the Knicks' flexibility, particularly if they harbor ambitions of acquiring another star through a trade. The financial implications of extending Randall's contract are not the sole concern. His playing style and fit alongside other key players on the roster, notably Jalen Brunson, raise questions about the team's long-term ceiling. While Randall's scoring mastery and rebounding ability are undeniable assets, his ball-dominant tendencies and occasional defensive lapses have drawn scrutiny. If the Knicks envision a future centered around Brunson's playmaking and a more balanced offensive attack, Randall's role and contract demands could become a point of contention. Should negotiations falter and Randall remain steadfast in his desire for a max contract, the Knicks may be compelled to explore trade options. While parting ways with a player of Randall's caliber is undoubtedly a difficult decision, the potential rewards of acquiring a more complementary star or a collection of valuable assets could outweigh the short-term loss. The Knicks must carefully evaluate Randall's value, both on and off the court, and determine whether his continued presence aligns with their championship aspirations. The Knicks are in a good position, but they're also at a crossroads. If they run it back, they're likely just outside the inner circle of contenders. But if they make a trade, they could upgrade their roster and increase their chances of winning a championship. The next few weeks will be crucial for the Knicks. They need to decide whether to run it back, make a minor move, or swing for the fences. Whatever they decide, it will have a major impact on their future. In the next few videos, we'll take a closer look at some of the potential trade targets for the Knicks. We'll also discuss the pros and cons of each option and make a prediction about what the Knicks will ultimately do.